Welcome to section number four guys. I'm happy that you are now here because this is going to get a little bit more interesting. So first things first, why is this going to get more interesting? Because now we're going to apply the movement or the turbulent flow, which is the most common case in the industry, especially if you want to do mass transport, you know that when you mix something, it gets or it gets faster rates or it gets quicker to mix. Okay, so the very, very first thing is convective mass transfer, understanding what is it, why is it different from molecular diffusion, and why are we going to apply this into the following lectures. Then we're going to cover mass transfer coefficients, which you are probably familiar with if you took already a transport phenomena course. Uh, essentially, it's just some coefficient in order to force the driving force. That sounds funny, force the driving force. Anyways, the idea is to have a simple equation in which I just need to calculate the difference in driving force, concentration, partial pressure, molar fractions. And I have this beautiful variable which will mathematically make sense in order to get the molar flux. So there are many ways and many forms in which we can measure these uh, mass transfer coefficients. So make no worries, we are going to go step by step. And talking about those uh, ways to get that, we are going to encounter the concept of correlations, which are engineering applications that help us to get mass transfer coefficients for given cases. For instance, if we're using pipes, okay, we have a correlation for pipes. If we are using plates, we are going to have plates. Uh, if we are using a, let's say, tray column, we're going to have a correlation for that. And the more important or the most common one, because it is applied typically in gas absorption, the specific case of a packed bed or a packed column. So without further ado, let's check this section, which is very interesting. I'll see you in the next lecture.